Hi, I'm Konza and this is a Konza Painting Studio. Welcome in my first video in English. This channel will be full of tutorials, unboxings and more. All without filters, all in clear, all explaining each step. In this first video I painting the animal of the orc from Gribo Games. Gribo Games it's a leader in a fantasy football world. Big miniatures, many details, many, many, many armor. Fantastic. I choose the non-metal metal techniques for this step, for these miniatures, and I choose the gray tones for a steel so, we'll be for starting, I remind you uh, to uh, subscribe the channel, insert the thumbs up uh, to the video, and don't forget uh, to click on bell for to receive uh, all notifications. So, let's not uh, waste any more time and start to painting the oak. And now, go to painting! This is the ogre from the Ribo Games Blood Bowl team. I painted the, the skin with the green tones. And now let's move on to painting the armor. The armor has different types of metal. We're going to paint in these different parts with different shades of grey. I painted all the models with this color scale. The idea is to have a team with all the same colors. Here is another completed model. And now you can see a little boy. Hmm? Do you like it? Okay. Another important sign is the red right shoulder. Each team member has a red shoulder, a symbol of the orb's team. These details enrich the gaming model. In my opinion, having a game model needs to be painted well. Okay, for painting this model, I will use the Vallejo model color range and the artist range of scale color. And now let's see in detail which color I will use. I use uh, for the light steel parts uh, this color. It's a blue gray of model color Vallejo. Instead, uh, for the basic zone, I will use a base of gray for all bases. So this is the color from a model color but why two colors for a basis because uh, the choose of having two bases serve to determine the type of the different steel for this model you can see two different uh, gray gray blue and basal gray for a helmet because helmet have two different type of steel. Let's put the boy in his place and start painting. Before starting the list of the colors I will use. First, basal gray, the gray blue, and now mid tone. Grey pearl for a shadow, the black of artist, and for a light, the white. This is the list of the color. We begin to give grey in all this area with milk color hardness. Puzzle the grey Vallejo is the base.
In this step, it's most important to give a direction to the brush stroke. Okay, and now I keep painting uh, all the parts with a basal grey and painting the base of all the parts. Okay, in uh, this area I painted uh, with uh, grey blue. I paint uh, with the two bases just to convey the idea of two different steels. Very important, the color must have the hardness of milk. Remember, hardness of milk for the base. And now go fast. With the trick in areas of shaded, it's uh, useless to paint uh, with the, the base uh, and then darken. It's better to paint uh, the base in a darker tone. For the game models, uh, you will save yourself many steps. For this step, uh, we add back black to the basal gray, 50% black, 50% gray. The color should be like watercolor. We will do a wash in all parts of armor. And now with the 50% black and 50% gray, we wash the armor part. Remember, watercolor dilution. The washing must be light, uh, otherwise uh, it will change uh, the tones of the base too much. Try to give a correct wash by managing the amount of color and the direction of the brush stroke.
And now, little trick, wash half of head. This is where uh, the light will go, and so don't wash. Okay? Don't wash. Now I wash uh, his arm. While washing dry, we will paint dark bases for the shadows with the milk color deviation. So, in this point, okay, in this point. I use dark bases. For these parts, uh, I use a mix of 30% uh, gray, basalt gray, and 70% uh, black. For these effects, the color change must be very evident. I keep painting all the shaded parts. Okay. And uh, also for the lower area of the blade, I will use uh, the same technique. Okay, now we have a darker part, a lighter part, and everything is washed. Perfect. And now, using the basic hazard gray, I can create the lights with a simple step, defining better shadows, mid tones, and highlights. With a simple only basal gray, gray of base. Okay guys, the video stops here for channel needs. In the next video, we will see how to create the lights after managing all the shadows and the washing. I remind you of my contracts. You can write to me at uh, kpaintingstudio at gmail.com. You can find me on Instagram to the account k score painting underscore studio and my new Facebook page Konza Painting Studio. I hope you found uh, the video a useful and uh, I invite you to subscribe to the channel and like it. I remind you to click on the bell for a notification. Thanks for watching the video and see you very soon on your favorite painting channel. Bye!